so gender is really, really confusing. But I'm going to do my best at explaining and documenting my sort of history with how I've understood it and eventually get to where I'm at now and where I might be in the future. So, okay, very first thing that happens. Okay, so this is the binary. Okay, this is this is what we start with. There's nothing there's nothing in between here. None of this. There's there's nothing in between. It is just a straight line 0 to 1. You have your male and you have your female. And this also stands for man and woman. Okay, so this is how I first understood it. And this is how just a lot of people understand gender. Okay, this is this is kind of the majority opinion. All right, so we're going to move on. We're going to move on from here. The next thing that we have, we have the binary. OK, before we go into the next thing, we're going to go into like what um, what trans medicalists believe, which is basically an offshoot of this. So basically, it lets you. You can switch on the trans medicalist perspective, you're always going to be. Either male or female, but you can swap over in the binary. OK, so the male and female does not change. The male and female is static, but the the man and the woman. This can change. OK, but it's still it's still a binary. All right. So we figure that one out. Next one. So this is this is where I kind of got in high school and I've had this position for a really long time. We have our line, OK, but. It, in between, we have our zero and we have our one and then there is one half your male, you have your female. In between, you have like your intersex. So this would be like your intersex right here. But but the thing about this is that ma man and woman is actually interchangeable. So man and woman is interchangeable. You can go from this side to this side if you want. So I figured that that's a thing and then and the reason why is because man and woman are social constructs. So in here you have your your intersex and you also there's an infinite amount of fractions that you can fit. In between two numbers, zero and one, there's an infinite amount of fractions. So. Between zero and one is infinity, and so this has been my understanding of intersex, gender nonconforming and non-binary people. OK, so it's like. They are between. Male and female. They are between the binary, but they are not. They are not binary because once you start having things that aren't zero and one, it's no longer a binary. And so this is like the perspective I've had for a really long time and I don't have this one anymore. I don't I don't have this one anymore. So it's like you can switch from zero to one. There are things you can do. You can you can do like a plus one or a minus one scenario. And that, that would just be like. Traditional binary transition similar to like what I'm doing right now. So I guess I would be a zero, but I would be a plus one. So the next thing that we have and this is this is kind of. This is kind of where I've gotten to more recently. We have this model. OK, and then. 
it is a bimodal distribution. So, I mean, it's basically this one, but there's more information and it's a lot more complicated. So, so most people are zeros and most people are ones. This is what I have observed in the society that I live in. Most people are either zeros or ones. They are either men or women. Okay, I don't care what their sex is. Okay, this is this is irrelevant. Whether they are male or female, we've already established that it it just doesn't it just doesn't matter because because of this. Because of this, it just doesn't matter. Men and women can switch, so it doesn't matter whether you were born as male or female, you can just switch to the one that actually matters because men and women are what we see people as. We don't see people as males and females. We don't see in chromosomes. We don't look at people's genitals every day. This generally just does not matter. So on this one, it's just irrelevant. But we still have the bimodal. And then this, um, the whole region in the middle, it exists here. It exists here, but it's very small. And... There are some people that are men that are also like over here. And there are people that are women and they're like over here and they're just like a different. So on on these on these edges, you get people that are not really um, not really conforming to the norms. So over here, you would have like super masculine men. OK, in here you would have you would have super feminine men and like dead center. You have like the androgynous people. And then over here you have the super feminine women. And then it's the same thing for right here. So I've understood this for a really long time and it's basically this one, but it's like a little bit evolved. Like we've, we've gone past the need for the male and female, just don't care about that anymore. Not relevant. Not relevant to understanding gender. So that's this model. So it's not a binary, it's bimodal. There's stuff in here. Um, and basically what's going on is you have these same, these same areas exist. So, you know, um, this would be your non-binary, intersex, gender non-conforming, but they're still they still identify between men and women. And then so then we have this. This this color wheel that has a huge amount of of diversity and this exists outside of this binary so or this this bimodal distribution not it's not a binary so this exists outside i don't know if it's like over it if it's like surrounding it i don't know where it is i don't know where it is i don't know if it's just like hanging out out here okay but it, it's somewhere out here and so this is for people whose genders they they don't identify as things that are male, female or in between. They're something else. Um so an example of a popular person who is like this is um Doe who is dear gender and this is just something that happens. Okay, this is a documented thing that people do where gender is 
just something else. It is it is it is something that is used to identify as it's an identifier. Okay, it's an identifier, and it's not the the common popular ones that are that are the norm. This is this is outside of the norm. This is something else. So that's this is like I'd say my my current model my current understanding this is this is how i this is how i get it right now and so i'm actually being told that the reality is the way gender really works is that it is just this it is just this that is it that is all that it is it is just this one there is no bimodal distribution. And maybe I will get here in the future, but right now I'm having difficulty understanding like this one not existing. Like I, I think they both exist, but it's like men and women. So like the idea is that men and women are somewhere. They're somewhere in here. Like maybe there's men over here and women over here. I don't know. They exist inside here and I'm just not quite there yet, but I am hoping to read a lot of gender theory um, as I as I move forward. So I can understand I can understand this better, but right now. This is where I'm at and I and I want to try to have views that are inclusive of everyone but it is taking time for me to learn and um, better myself with my understanding i don't know this is super hard for me to understand and it's super hard for like the average person to understand the average person is all the way over here okay this is this is normal this is this is normal in quotation marks. This is what most people understand. It's like when you're an elementary school kid and you don't know that fractions exist. You just know that um, when the number line starts, there's a zero, there's a one and then there's a two. But like we're not we're not worrying about like. You get, you get the idea. There's nothing between zero and one. OK, so like if you showed like a kindergartner zero and one, they won't think that there's anything in between that. And that's how most people operate. And then you have the trans medicalists who are like, okay, you have zero, you have one and you can switch, but like you're always, you're always male and female. And there's, there's apps, there's no fractions either. Just like how in this model, there's no fractions. So non-binary people don't exist. And then there's this model where it's like, OK, male man and women are interchangeable. Male and female don't matter anymore. There is an infinite range in between. So you have non-binary people that exist. But the problem is that these are only the non-binary people that exist between male and female. And then you get this one where it accounts for the non-binary people that are in between man and woman, but it's not. This does it does this one doesn't account for the non-binary people that are outside of this. So then we have one where they're, they're outside somewhere. I don't know where, but they're they're out there. And finally, it's just like the bimodal distribution just doesn't exist anymore. Uh, <laughs> but what's really hard for me is to is that I struggle with understanding a world in which the bimodal distribution doesn't exist because I think it's a fair thing to say that like it is the dominant force like it, it is is what dominates our culture right now and I'm not saying whether that's a good or a bad thing that that's just how it is um, that 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 is just how the systems we have are designed we have 
made this social construct into you know this this one is like most people don't even recognize that 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 this one exists okay like this is i feel like this is like really 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 advanced this is really really advanced i feel like people who like know more than average are here it's just like we have a world in which in which this kind of dominates the way things work and it's like how do you make it to where a person can perceive you as whatever this is or whatever this is or whatever that is or this one like how do you make it to where a person can perceive that and and like define that social construct like how does that how does that happen man or woman isn't important than other isn't more important than other genders men and women are spectrums themselves which is why they fit on the spectrum as well no but i think it's like a different spectrum i really like being in here i like being on this one i like it i like that i am right here like i am i am number one i'm trying to be the number one I'm trying to go from zero to one. That is my journey, okay? And I like that I, I'm just going in a straight line, basically. I don't know where on this line I'm at. I don't know how far I am to, like, getting to the ideal uh, one. Like, I'm there. I, I am there, but only mentally. I think, like, physically... Physically, I'm I'm not quite there yet, and I want to get there, but it's weird. It's like I'm comfortable with this binary, or the 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 bimodal. I'm comfortable with the bimodal distribution. I'm sorry, I keep missing the two up. I I should read the gender abolitionist manifesto. I want to read that. That is one that I really want to read. I want to understand gender abolitionism. The problem is that I really like the woman gender. Like, I really like it. Because, like, I have, like, a bias. I have, like, a bias towards this one. And it's making it hard for me to see, like, oh, actually, this one isn't real. I don't know. It's all very complicated. It's all very confusing. But I, th I think that this is kind of where I'm at. Didn't make anyone upset by doing this. I'm literally just trying to learn. Please be patient with me. I'm working on it. If you have anything you want me to read related to this, send it to my way, either on Discord, Twitter. Um, if YouTube comments let you get it, bye. Sure, send it there too.